Good morning, everyone. I'm going to call the Marion Township Board of Supervisors workshop meeting for Saturday, November 13th to order. The time is now 9.03 a.m. I'd like to ask everyone to please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Okay, for anyone who is interested, there are masks and hand sanitizer at the front of the room. Anybody who is going to address the board, please come up to the microphone and be sure to speak towards the microphone. Uh, we don't have anybody else on the Zoom session, Sue, um, for the two people that we have in the audience. Are there any public comments this morning? Public comments. Uh, does that appeal of any, anything? What do you mean? I mean you, can bring anything up. you can bring anything up at public comment. Well, there's more and more people added to me. Right here at the woods, over here at the woods. Over here, can you come up to the microphone? That way the, the meeting gets you. Leanne, come up to the microphone yeah. so we can, yeah. everybody can hear. Sorry, but it just makes it easier on the recording. Hello. <laughs> I guess it's on, eh? Yeah, it's on. It's on. You, don't, you don't have to get that close. You just have to be oh, okay. near it. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay. Well, up here at the... Long, what is it, long scroll, eh? Mm -hmm. The, where the road comes in at an angle, you know, mm -hmm. them little reflector things are missing. And I tell you what, that makes a heck of a difference. Okay. And then I told a couple of people, and they said that the, you guys don't want them all, them little reflector things. I mm -hmm. said, what? No, that's, that's, not, that's not true. I'll have to take a drive by and I'll see what's... Are there are there any reflectors there still? Like if I get a picture of one, I could buy replacements. No, it's them little them little reflectors. Yeah. We, we no, get, the one was on the. They were there this morning when I came in. I came yeah. in that way. There ain't none on. I'll I'll drive by. The bigger ones, the bigger ones are on, but not the little guys that are really sharp. Okay, I mean, are they going to paint lines up there? They're supposed to be. Yeah. Okay. I got a call that uh, Bill Coker guy because they came out and they started line painting. They haven't been back since. Yeah. So. So I don't know. Uh, you, it, when it's foggy, it's really bad. When you turn in there, you sort of gotta watch yourself because it's, it's a triangle before night. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like them reflector, mm -hmm. the little, the, the smaller little ones. Mm -hmm. There's bigger ones there, mm -hmm. but those aren't like reflectors, you know. There. So I don't know. Okay, now I'll take a look. If they yeah. should, they should be there because they do absolutely help. So I'll see what's what's missing, and we'll we'll get a couple from like MSI or somewhere else. That down there, Lewis Note. Hmm. I know we put uh, we put a rock on top because his pipe that comes down from his place is about this far away from the from the pipe that goes underneath. Well, what the heck do you do with that? Then the dirt can rocks, you know, can go right in through there. So we put a rock on top of it, a flat, like a flat rock. <laughs> and he, I guess he called somebody up and they made the township take it off again. I think that's stupid when he, what does he have to do with that? Well, depending on where it is in the right of way, that might be, that might not be our junction of the pipe, but we should look at it because if it's a situation where it's clogging our pipe or isn't connected properly. Then... Yeah, but it can. That's what I'm saying. Well, I, I hear you, but I'm saying it may be a situation where if we put a, a rock on top, which is a temporary solution at best, it may be outside of our right of way. So we just have to, we have to look at it. You said that was Lewis Knoll? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We did fix, well, I thought they fixed to put it. He wanted a damn different, so they took the rocks away there. Okay. But it, I don't know what he, well, whatever. So, uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Seeing no other public comments, we'll move into the items for discussion. Uh, the first item is there's a slight correction to the September 25th, 2021 workshop meeting minutes. Uh, Irene was listed as not being present. She was, in fact, present. Well, I didn't have her listed at all. Yeah. But then she was, you know, she was, she was I knew she yeah. Yeah, was here. Yeah. You were invisible. Yeah. So I'll make a motion to, I'll make a motion to make that correction. Okay. Second. Sorry, Ernie. It's okay. Let me I say I didn't. My feelings are not hurt. Published it. <laughs> Roll call, Peter. Hi. Irene. Hi. Jim. Hi. Okay. Okay. 
Next is the Stonecroft infield and sinkhole. They've apparently started work on the basin. Jim, I guess you'd be our eyes and ears there for any sort of updates, but I don't think there really is much to, not much to report. Yeah. Um, next on the agenda is the Cold Summit Farmers Preserve, the industrial park traffic planning and design. Um, uh, I don't think there's really much news on this either. We haven't heard anything. It's anything just either. the timing. Not, I don't think we're going to hear anything anyway in the next couple of weeks, but the timing between last month's meeting and this meeting is pretty short because of the, the holidays. So no news on that item either. Uh, Act 537, the next step is the income study. We'll be reaching out to that, uh, that very nice Colleen lady that we talked to. The letters around the on-lot management ordinance were sent out on Tuesday, November 9th. Alan Madera, our SEO, will be starting the program in January and we'll be sending out his letters between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Uh, this adds a $50 pump out inspection fee to the 2022 tax bills to cover the cost of the inspection at a four year interval. Um, I'm sure we're gonna have questions on that Thursday night. So um, just a, a, a yeah, I was, gonna say, I was actually gonna turn it over to you because so, I know you'd send an email okay. out. Yeah, yeah, so, so, so just to clarify and for public education. So 40 plus years ago, the DEP mandated sewer installation and on lot management. Um, and throughout the entire state, if anyone would like to take a look, you could look at the DEP website. Um, uh, every single municipality has to have an on lot uh, management plan in place, if not a sewer plan in place, uh, without exception. And last night, I, I just took a look because I'm like, where is this information? If you just go to the Pennsylvania State DEP website, it's there. Um, Unfortunately, throughout time, numerous boards have passed the buck on, and unfortunately, we're the ones that to deal with it. I just want to make sure I had my timeline correct. The plan passed in 2019. The yep. management ordinance passed in 2019, too. No, I think that was actually it's part of the Act 5. It's part, right, of, the, right. it's part of the Act 5, right. 7, 30, so, so, so that was the same time. 2019. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, just, just to understand it. And so um, we have to comply with Almont management according to the Act 537 period and the statement that's that um and unfortunately we have a lot of uh, residents who are, are quite upset with that if i could propose and i'll i'll send it out in an email if we could have just a short fact sheet with references to the dep website um as far as where to look for this information it and uh is our ordinance up on our website or no it is it's not the signed one but it's it's, it's there it's a yeah. Copy or it's, yeah so that we could provide accurate and correct information to residents as to where the information is coming from this is not us this is not our regulation per se this is our compliance with the state mandate period end of the statement there is no emotion behind it there's no um, this is not being done to pursue anyone. This is just what we have to do to comply with the law at the state level. And unfortunately, we know a lot of people are going to be angry and upset about it. This is the course of action that we have to take. We don't have a choice. So I'd like, I'll send out an email. If we could put together something really quick, have it printed up for the residents to look at. This way they can reference the DEP website and understand why we have to do it. If they choose not to do that, that's on them but it's out there for everyone to take a look at. If people don't have access to the internet at home, they can go to any public library. And I can highly recommend the Wilmersdorf Public Library. Those ladies there will help you navigate the web to get to the information that you want and need to get to, so. Yeah, no, I think it's a fantastic yeah. idea. A short one page of the what, why, and some resources yep. for, yep. <clears throat> I think that's, yeah. that's yeah. good. And, and, and maybe that'll mitigate some of the anger um, but I, I refuse to let anyone bark and yell at us and be nasty to us. We are trying to do the best that we can for everyone. This is nothing, and this is not a personal agenda for anyone on the board, if I could speak for everyone here. Mm -hmm. None of us want to see this sewer go in. We're trying to get the income study done, and we're trying to show through hopefully the pump out process that our systems are functional and that it's not a necessary thing and it would be an undue burden on our residents. So we are trying to do the best that we can with what information we have. Again, the buck was passed for four decades mm -hmm. and we're the ones that get to deal with it. Please help us along with it. Yeah. If we work together, we're going to work better. And it's, it is worth mentioning that sewer or no sewer, regardless, part of the Act 537, no matter what you do, if you have on-lot systems, you have to have an on-lot management ordinance. And part yeah. of that is inspection. It's the cold, hard truth of it. Absolutely. So for a second. 
So I'm sure there will be some spirited discussion about that on, on Thursday night. But I think that, to your point, Irene, the, the FAQ sheet will certainly yep. help in some cases. Maybe not all of them, but some people will find that genuinely helpful. I hope so. And, and it you know, just, just came to me this morning. I'm like, people don't know. Mm. And what they don't know about, they're going to bark about. Mm. So. Yep. Okay. It's okay. Well, I, I took notes that it was laying in what is common. Okay, okay. Next item on the agenda is spur road and school road intersection. This project has been completed. Uh, we need a, an ordinance to fully put in the stop sign there. Uh, Courtney should have that for us on Thursday night, ready to sign unless there were any other delays. Um, next, we're going, moving into the road work section, culvert on Marion Drive at Jacob Weiss. This is the one that was uh, a cost estimate of around $91,000 to replace. Uh, again, our road crew doing most of the work. Um, the original permit was never actually acted upon, so it's still technically valid. Um, so we're trying to figure out if we would be in a good position to try and start that this year. Seeing as we're, we're closing in on the, the winter months, or it would be maybe better to start that in late February or early March well, of next keep year. Keep in mind, um, starting January, yeah. BCCD will be accepting new applications. That's true. So since uh -huh. this was already... This was actually already in and didn't get the DGL VR. And I believe Jim said nothing has been changed with this project, okay. so maybe this is one we okay. could just resubmit. So that actually... that. that that helps support the we should probably just wait rather than trying to, to mess around with it and hope that we don't have like harsh weather or freezing because that was the one that dean liked really liked. yeah okay so that's and i think the reason we didn't get that was because they kind of messed up their bookkeeping a little mm -hmm. bit they ended up not having money i think they double spent or something mm -hmm. like that the one year mm -hmm. but so that one might get approved i don't okay. know i mean Thank everybody you. else in the county's into the third grab of the grants now so the chances are slimmer than they were but yeah it might be worth a try okay no i think that's actually that's that's a good point and honestly that's the exactly. timing is good if we put it in in january we don't hear by march we just start moving mm -hmm. forward with it i mean um, the application's already it's already out. in it's yeah just, it's, it's just, just yeah the other two culverts we're just waiting for the uh gp7 permits to come back the eta that we got from mccarthy engineering was january so again mm -hmm. probably around the march time frame late february early march um, we would just go through a, a slew of road work um, for, there's actually a total of four, four culverts, including the one that we were just talking about for the grant. So we would do three, possibly four culverts at the start of next year. Okay, we don't have any questions on that. The next one is the uh, request that I had made at the last meeting for the abandoning a small portion of Shady Cabin Circle. Um, it's still being reviewed by the solicitor. So there's no news therein. We've heard absolutely nothing. Uh, next, yes, Roy. I have a problem with that. Okay. What benefit is this to the public, to the township? There's no benefit to the township. This is me as a person, and I would be paying for the cost difference of it. It has no benefit or detriment to anybody other than myself and potentially yourself. And honestly speaking, I don't want to see you have a detriment with it either, Roy. Well, then you better forget it because I'm not giving up my property. What do you mean? Well, you, you want to take over the right of way that goes through my property. No, 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 Roy, Roy, Roy. The request that I'm asking for from the township isn't isn't your right of way. I would still be very interested in talking to you about buying that small section. This is the the road piece, not not that J-shaped piece. This is just the road. Well, that road piece goes down through there to my property. Your bit ends at the very it, it the road stops where your your J piece comes through. Right. If you look at the parcel map, and that's we would just be abandoning the road the whole way down whatever is on my my land would go back to me whatever is on yours would not obviously go back to you i'm not proposing inf any infringement on on your property whatsoever but i lose access to my property not necessarily i'm i said at the last meeting i'm perfectly okay with putting something on, in any sort of writing that we need to to continue to permit you to have access to that that may be as long as you're there but what about if you leave well so roy there's 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 two different ways to do this this would be a situation where we could either do an agreement between us as property owners or if there's something on the deed about having access to that parcel because of a lack of access from any other point of egress there's a number of different ways that can do that this can be done um and i don't want any of them to be done if it's a situation where um, it unilaterally benefits me. The, the reason that I'm looking to, to decommission that, and this is me speaking as a person, not as a supervisor for the record, 
um, is it just, it's logically there, isn't actually there. It's just grass. I mow it, I take care of it. The only thing it does is it prevents me from doing certain things with my property because I have, I now have setbacks down the middle of it. And that's it. Well, you want to put an addition on? I'd eventually like to put a small addition on my house, yes. And that's going to cause a lot of problems by, by being there. Isn't that in the flood zone? It's not in the flood zone. I've seen three feet of water. I've seen that. three feet of water there too, Roy. There's a hundred year floods that happen, but it's technically not in the flood map. Well, I think we need to sit down and have a map and show me exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, absolutely. I'd be happy to do that. If you have a couple of minutes after the meeting, I can kind of show you on Google Maps where the pieces are. Because like I said, I'd still be very interested in, in getting that, that small J piece as well, like we had talked about a couple of years ago. And I, again, I don't want to make it so that it's a hardship for you to get in and out of that property. That is not the intent of my request. The intent is to really kind of simplify the the state of the parcels that I have, because there's a lot of things that kind of bisect and cut them up and it really doesn't do anybody any favors. Right. I'm willing to sit down with you. Okay, thank you, Roy. Yes. Is there any measure to move No, no. No, no. What I'm saying is the very. No, so the, the very end, like when you come down the circle where the paving ends and it just becomes grass for another like 200 feet, that's all I'm talking about. Is that like 200 feet of grass? No. No, no, no. Just, just the bit past like what would be like the driveway. It would be nicer to just go around the corner. You know, if you make the road. It's, it would, nah. Yeah. 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 And honestly, like, honestly speaking, I, I don't think it's ever going to be paved. I hope it's never paved, honestly speaking. And it would be kind of a huge waste of money to pave it considering it's me and the UPS driver generally that use it. So, yeah. So that's, that's the thinking there, Ann. And like I said, Roy, I'd be happy to sit down with you for a couple of minutes if you have a, a few moments after the meeting to discuss just person to person. Okay, uh, next up is the Tulpahawken Township Police Contract. The addendum to the agreement expires December 31st, 2021. We are waiting for Tulpahawken's attorney to review this. Courtney will have the document ready to sign on Thursday night, again, barring any sorts of delays. Next item is the Eagle Disposal Contract. This is, was a, originally a three-year contract expiring on March 21st, 2022, with an option to renew for one year and an option to renew an additional year after that for a total of five years. For years one through three, residents pay quarterly a fee of $50.40 for trash and $16.80 for recycling, totaling $67.20. For year four, the quarterly fees are $52.65 for trash and $17.55 for recycling, totaling $70.20. For year five, the quarterly fees are $54.90 for trash and $18.30 for recycling, totaling $73.20 per quarter. Uh, they have provided free trash and recycling toters as part of the current agreement. In the past, we had the solicitor, Andy George, draw up the documents McCarthy Engineer posted a pen bid. Um, if we're going to go out for a request for a proposal like we had talked about on Thursday night's meeting, which I still think we should just to see what the market is, uh, it will need to be drawn up and advertised. Um, we also had some points of discussion around penalties or if we're trying to enforce penalties for non-performance on the current contract, uh, specifically around the recycling tonnage seems to be inconsistent and kind of trending downwards. Uh, at this point, I think we're just waiting for the solicitor to get back to us on their review of, of the contract and what we can and can't do. Next, uh, we actually have uh, four terms expiring in January 2021, uh, excuse me, January 2022. Uh, Claire Zimmerman on the Planning Commission, Nelson Troutman on the Zoning Hearing, Nancy Carrington on the Vacancy Board, and John Seleski as the Emergency Management Coordinator. So we'll have to reach out to everyone and see if they are interested in continuing to serve. Do you want me to call them? If, if you would, Sue, that would be much appreciated. You can also call John. Okay. Yeah, I assume John is probably I interested. I kind of figured that he, I always list that transition because yeah. it's got to be reappointed yeah. every year. Yep, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Okay. Next item on the agenda is the Western Berks Joint, joint Zoning Ordinance Amendments uh, for Robert Zonia. This was a change in designation for convenience stores with fuel pumps. Uh, I won't read the whole yeah. huge wall of text. Next was North Heidelberg Township for apartments in their medium density residential district. 
and for Heidelberg Township, this was a change uh, to their ag preserve, excuse me, one of the ag preserve parcels to medium density residential, which aligns and matches with Marion Township zoning of the, the same property just across the township line. The next joint planning commission meeting is on Thursday, November 30th. Uh, we will need to have a quorum. I know I, I intend on being there. I believe, Jim, you're able to be there. I don't know what your work schedule is for yeah, the, the for the 30th, I Yeah. For this, the um, attorney's office, um, it has to be advertised twice. So it was advertised on Friday, yesterday, okay. and it'll be advertised next Friday. That advertisement is posted on the bulletin board if anybody wants to see it. Okay. Um, just let everybody know. Okay. Yes, Ray. Who supersedes who on the, uh, between the county master plan and the zoning that you're adopting? Well, specifically, it's the joint zoning, and it's, um, I think local takes precedent. I'd have, to, I'd have to look, but none of the things that are being proposed are directly in Marion Township. We're just a member of the board, so when they vote, they have, we have to have quorum representation for Marion Township. What I'm saying is, we applied for that reserve for our quorum. Yeah. And it was turned down by the county who said that the master plan called the residential in that area, and they, they denied us the act of the Is... So if you're going to have a zoning and turn around and you comply with your zoning, but the county said no. Yeah. Let me let me look at this with you after the meeting because depending on like which portion of the was it the the piece of the property that was entirely in Marion, or was it because I know you have some bits it was not the bit in Marion. It is Marion. Oh, it is Marion. Okay, well let's let's look at that together. I'll look and see what supersedes what. I thought local, I don't know. but I don't know. yeah, I, I honestly speaking, I'd have to check. But if it's something that I can help you with, get figured out so that you're able to get Ag Preserve, I'd be happy to do it, Roy. Let me make a quick note here. Memory serves me. You're already for our zoning. You're zoned AP I was gonna already. Say, aren't, aren't you you're already, already zoned, zoned AP. AP. Yeah, I'm almost positive you are. Now that I'm like typing this and thinking about it. Like my my recollection of that map is your your ag preserved because when we rezoned it because of the just trying to avoid spot zoning, any of the other like non developed like open parcels. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah, every everybody. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's 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 look at it, Roy. But our zoning is already AP, so maybe there's something that we can do rather than you as a, a property owner, but we as the township can, can push on the county. Yeah. Old zoning. You were. Um, yeah. So. Well, what what she's saying, Roy, is there might have been a mismatch between our zoning and the county, and the county may have said that it doesn't support, like what's in the master plan doesn't allow for the mismatch. We'll we'll look at it. If there's any anything, literally anything that we can do, we'll do it to help you. Yeah. So um, I'll make a note. Um, that's just the planning commission, county planning commission office that we just reach out to, right? I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. Um. Or call Jim McCarthy. I'll, I'll call Jim McCarthy and I'll talk to him. He would know stuff like that more than me. I just okay. Well, let's let's look. But like I said, if there's anything that we can do, because it yeah. seems silly, if we're zoning yeah. AP, why you wouldn't be able to be zoned? You're already you're technically already zoned Ag right. Preserve. So yeah, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, we'll 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 get it figured out, Roy. Don't worry. But I don't think on the old zoning he was. Yeah, I, I want to say that was medium density re or not medium uh, LDR low density residential. Yeah, I think that whole that. stripe through there was LDR. Yeah. Um, I'll I'll check the old map too. But I'm pretty sure that there might have been some weirdness because our old zoning was was kind of antiquated. Mm -hmm. But we'll we'll look. Mm -hmm. 
me highlight that so I don't forget it. Okay. Uh, next is the rental inspection ordinance. Um, uh, I will unfortunately admit that I've not read through all of them yet. Yeah. I've not had the, the opportunity to sit down and do a full set of red lines. Hopefully for Thursday night, I'll be able to do that. But well, we had like four or five of them to go through. Yeah, no, Sue and I have pulled up a bunch of them. And what I'm going to do is, is do something similar to what I did with the noise ordinance, just kind of piece through all the stuff, put together something that works for us. Yeah. And, and again, come back with that. Um, I think that might be a little bit easier than, because so much of, of what we're seeing is, is, is a just duplicate of other townships, but put it in the language and just put what I think all the benefits of all the other ordinances. So that's what's something I was going to do and send it out. I don't know. Yep. I don't think I'll have I, it ready for this. Upcoming that's that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. I'll, like I said, I, I still intend on reading through oh, it because yeah. if there's things that jump out, like yeah, the other one that we read, lot, yeah. there's, there's a lot of yeah. slight differences, little yeah. nuanced differences. Oh, we noticed, like, I know what I did was I think I went on Berks County's website and just searched yep. for rental ordinances and some of the municipalities are older yeah know, but it's still like it's still fundamentally yeah. yeah 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 there's some interesting stuff like about vacant properties and some of the other ordinances so yeah. it, it was is really rather interesting but there's a lot of information a lot of it is just duplicitous so yeah. uh, i was going to just do what i did with the noise where it's like pull stuff together put it together on something that would work for us kind of builds on on the richland borough but honestly after seeing some of the other ones i like a lot of the other ones a lot better yeah. So that's something I'm going to try to get to okay. ASAP. Good. Okay. Next, the winter snow removal. Uh, I believe Butch and your husband got the plows and stuff on the trucks last. They got the saw spreaders on. Okay. Um, so we still need to get the plows on. I'll talk to yeah. Butch about doing that this week. Um, we need to get the updated list of the farmers uh, for this, you know, emergency snow removal. And I need to set up a meeting. I was fully intending on doing that like this weekend <laughs> yeah, after they, the meeting and that just really, got away from me. Really want a meeting. Yeah. Well, I, I, I really want a meeting too, but I just um, didn't, didn't I mean, have the I opportunity. Maybe after next workshop, it shouldn't be. It might be too, too long to wait. I'm thinking like maybe the first weekend of December, like I don't want to do it too close to Thanksgiving, Yeah. but like whatever that, whatever that day is, uh, the fourth. <laughs> Yeah. So I'll uh, I'll put something on the calendar and hopefully that will that will keep me to it. But just let me know then yeah. I'll call everyone and get them here. Yeah, let's let's just plan on the fourth. Let's okay. just let's just draw the line in the sand and say that okay. for the fourth. Nine o'clock here. Nine a.m. here okay. on the fourth. Good news is we have plenty of salt if it does actually snow. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Next uh, building maintenance. Yeah, Nothing major on that. We've kind of put that on a hiatus until we figure out more what we're doing and get some comparative quotes so that we can do a, a cost analysis of. No one's pulling back. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's just unfortunately the nature I, of the climate right, right now. I think I'm, I'm no. I don't think anyone's going to call me back till February or March if they even call back. So yeah. we'll probably have yeah. to do new sets of calls next year. But we yeah. want to have a, a true dollars to dollars comparison yeah. of renovating this building versus building something else somewhere else. So. There'll be more on that, but we'll keep it on the agenda just as a, a gentle reminder. Uh, next is the PSATS life insurance plan. Uh, PSATS is offering a new life insurance plan uh, starting on November 2nd, uh, offering $25,000 term life insurance. Uh, Jim, I believe you were you were going to look into that a little further if you... I haven't had an opportunity yet. I'll, okay. I'll give her a call this week. Okay, very good. Next is the American Rescue Plan. Uh, we received $100,848.79, which was transferred into the general money market account. Uh, PSATS expects the U.S. Treasury Department to issue final rules in the <clears throat> fall of 2021, uh, which we're still waiting for. I know there were some updated guidelines that were sent out on either Thursday or Friday. can't yeah, remember I which. Didn't, I didn't have a chance to read these, but I just happened to go on their website, PSATS website and saw they had a new fact sheet. So um, I printed it or scanned it for everybody. Yeah. I didn't read it though. Yeah. Uh, we haven't gotten notified by PSATS that they have treasury the final rule. So, yeah. so we just sit and hang tight. Just, everybody's waiting. Yeah. yeah. The good news about this is this can be used for a number of things, largely to support uh, mm -hmm. any future needs to address things like pandemics. Um, one of the, the odd segues to that or asterisks to that is that you can use it for culverts. So depending on what we decide to do, it could be something that funds some culverts. 
could be something that funds some building renovations or a mix of the mm -hmm. of the of the two. We have to come up with a plan by the end of 2024, and we have to spend it by the end of 2026. Yeah, we've got time to get a plan together, and then mm -hmm. it's yeah. it's relatively easy to spend money. I, yeah. I don't think that, <laughs> really? once we have the plan, I don't yeah. think that's going to be a problem. Yeah. Um, Okay. Next is the credit card policy. Um, oh, did you have a did you have a comment, Roy? Were you were you raising your hand or no? No. Okay. Um, next is the credit card policy. Irene is currently drafting this. I have some some notes that I can share too for just general acceptable use things. But what you you did as your first one was very very good. It was very comprehensive and should should leave no ambiguity of what you're supposed to do or not supposed to do with the card. No explosives. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> um, Next is the payment of engineer and attorney fees. Uh, this is for things like reviewing stormwater plans. Uh, currently, we are sending a letter and invoice. A second invoice includes a 6% increase. The process should be tweaked and modified as we, we figure out what works best. Um, how many invoices should we send before turning over to collections? Should we be going to collections? Um, how many bills, um, or can we send bills for work performed in the past like mm -hmm. three years? All that fun stuff. Um, I believe you've sent out some letters already, and we've yep. actually gotten yep. some some yep. things back. Yeah, we've gotten payments. Um, actually, uh, just to update on this. I did contact Alicia and um, at uh, Kozlov Stout, and one, two, three strikes are out. She's going to help us beef up our letter that we send to the residents, and um, they are they want to put a lien on a property already that hasn't paid these bills and. We're not talking fifty dollars. We're talking closer to two thousand dollars. Jeez. So, uh, yeah, and the same homeowner has other bills that are outstanding as well. And in a week, I'll be sending out the third notice. And if there's no response, um, I'll be forwarding that to Alicia. Unfortunately, it's, it's going to cost us when it comes to Kozlov Stout, but they're going to include their fees in this. Yeah, it's, uh, a, it's a pass through. Yeah, it's than a pass through. So. Have, um, have any of the letters been sent certified at this point? Um, no, we can. I, like. would, I would do the so last one cert certified. certified mail. Yeah. yeah. Um, so so it, it's getting interesting. Um, but under the law, a, ma a letter sent is presumed sent. Well, so, uh, yeah. under, understood. Yeah. Just, just from yeah. the due diligence aspect yeah. of it, it yeah. might not be a bad idea to do one of them, preferably the, the last one as a, a certified yeah. letter, I mean, just to be this sure. Homeowner, and you send one certified, you send it certified and regular mail. Yeah, yeah. and that's that's fine. Yeah, because then you know that at least they get one. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, this particular resident is quite aware because they haven't come up to pick up any additional permits. There's a permit outstanding. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So, so this person is quite aware. Next is the update to the saldo fees and stormwater management ordinance and fees. Uh, the subdivision and land development ordinance, the saldo is from 1991 and the fees are from 2005. The stormwater management ordinance and fees are both from 2002. Uh, we do have a copy of why missing this fee schedule. Um, there's a lot on it. So yep. that's, that's just gonna be an exercise in time of going through and seeing uh, what fits for us, what doesn't, what things we should be charging for and we're not. And are we going to do that at the December workshop or no, the, it's no. yeah, okay. so the December okay, workshop is pretty cool. We're not going to do that. So then I would the say it optimistically speaking, January, right. like if we have everything in hand, January. Yeah. And, and because most of the stuff is there's a lot of stuff to do like the yeah. end Got of it. the year, beginning of the year. So okay. yeah, if you don't mind waiting. No, no, bit. not at all. Because all those fees can be adopted by resolution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's this is honestly speaking one of the easier yeah. things to do yeah. procedurally. It's just it's a lot of information yeah. to sift through to make sure that we're getting yeah. it right. I see. This is why I would want this up here so you could do your computer thing and oh, everyone Black, could see. Black Friday's coming. TV, Black Friday's TVs coming. are cheap on Black Friday. Yeah. All right. Okay. Next is the 2022 proposed budget. This was accepted and advertised on November 10th. It is available for public inspection. Uh, we were unfortunately one day short on the 20 days to be able to adopt it at our November meeting, so we will have to adopt it at the December meeting. Um, at that meeting, by resolution, we will have to adopt the 2.0 millage and the 0.65 uh, streetlight millage and the $50 pump out inspection. Okay. Next is the County of Berks municipal tax sheets. Uh, we share printing costs, printing and postage costs with the county for tax bills. The municipal tax sheet and contact information needs to be completed and sent back by December 31st, 2021. We need to add the $50 pump out inspection fee for affected parcels and give them a list. Um, we should make a motion to authorize the secretary or the treasurer 
to add the pump out fee to the municipal tax sheet. And I think you can motion that even though we didn't adopt the fees because yeah. you still motion to set the fee. the fee on the tax bill. Yeah. So. Okay. so I'll make a motion to authorize the secretary or treasurer to add the pump out fee to the municipal tax sheet. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Way I can get working on that. Because I have to... So they 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 need a list of parcels. So I have to make sure that the pump out list that we have has the parcel numbers on it. It just is going to take me a while to go through that whole list mm -hmm. and make sure everything's there. Okay. Okay. Next is the road signs that I wanted to buy. We're getting low on some road signs, and to replenish that. The quote is about 780 something dollars. It's like $788. Uh, but this is 10 uh, speed limit 25 signs, 10 pedestrian and Xing signs, uh, and 10 uh, ahead signs. That way we can strategically place okay. pedestrian crossings and uh, replace a couple of the 25 mile per hour signs that are worn and have some spares. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know if I technically need a, need a motion, but I'll make a motion to approve the expense of 780, well, let's call it $790, just round it up to be safe, $790 for the purchase of street signs. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, okay. next, uh, a motion was made at the October meeting to purchase a John Deere backhoe from Plaster Equipment Company for a total of $109,900. Uh, the price was actually less than that. It was $105,900. Um, the hundred nine dollars was actually subject to an increase that we managed to miss the, the deadline on just slightly. Yeah, I read that quote wrong. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's it, okay. It, it happens. Yeah. Um, if, you, if we... So chose, uh, we, are, we need to make a motion to accept the lower price, which obviously we're going to want to, um, <laughs> uh, and include that Irene is authorized to sign the financing paperwork around that. So I'll make a motion to accept the price for the John Deere backhoe from Plaster Equipment Company for $105,900 and authorize Irene to sign any financing paperwork required. Sure. Roll call, Peter. Hi. Irene. Hi. Jim. Hi. Okay. Okay, next, the Main Street traffic study. Uh, there was a kind of proposal that we got from Jim McCarthy's uh, group that we had asked about that. It was about $10,000 to do the full study down Main Street of four intersections. Um, honestly, I think we only really need to look at three potentially. The fourth one is, in my opinion, kind of a, a non-start for a stop sign, but I'd be interested in looking at, um, I believe it's uh, Church in Maine, Sharp in Maine, and Water in Maine as potential candidates for that because each of them possesses a certain uh, attribute. I think that would, whether we get, we're not obviously not going to put in all three, but uh, any one of them would be a good, suitable candidate for putting a stop sign in, which would certainly help break up traffic flow a little bit and hopefully prevent speeding or cut down on the amount of speeding. So that's something that we need to decide if we want to have them move forward with the four, have them amended to the three, which based on the pricing that they have there would be about $7,500 to do the full study. Um, but I think it's something that has been kind of kicked around for years and years and years of, of doing a study of this kind of nature to see what we could do in terms of uh, traffic control signage and just it's never been done. So let's mull it over, think about it for Thursday night. I'm inclined to do the, the three and just get it get it done. Where was the fourth one going to be? Um, Marion? Yeah, I want to say it was Marion. Oh, that's like that's, that's what like that, that's what I look when I uh, not to mention you don't get that much like you've already you've already gotten a huge runway from right. the highway up to Marion. It really doesn't make a lot of sense to put a stop sign there. Right. So I'm thinking the three would be the okay. best way to do it because I don't want to just do one and then have it be like, well, this one doesn't work, and then have to go back and then yeah, no, no so. I agree. Get all done at one time. Okay, so. That's the final item on the agenda. I don't have any items for comment other than um, I know the MTCA is doing sandwich fundraisers. So if anybody is interested in getting sandwich coupons from Kelly or Don or any of the other MTCA members, they're six fifty, I believe, for a sandwich coupon. Thank you. Um, yeah, um, they're six fifty a piece, and the sandwiches are great, and they go for a good cause. Um, other than that, that's that's it for me. Irene, do you have any comments? 
Uh, Tuesday, I've got Rick coming down okay. and we're just going to do some housekeeping with respect to QuickBooks and um, uh, some of the questions that we had with how to deal with certain aspects of pass through with engineering costs yeah. and SEO costs. We're going to, I'm going to review with him. So uh, I don't think it's going to exceed the amount allotted that we had for last year because okay. um, typically he spends an hour and that's it. Yeah. So. Yeah, I saw your I saw your rubber duck email. I didn't get a chance to reply to you. Um, I think it would be best if we find one of the main yeah. codes of accounts. And when I was in here the one yeah. night, I, I saw yeah. that some of the, the sub accounts didn't have the dependency set up on the main account. Yeah. So I went, I just went through and fixed a couple of those. Yeah. Um, but we really should have like I'll I'll throw out like 352. I know that's one we already yeah. used, but we should have like 352 as um like reimbursement or pass through for, for expenses right, right. and then have sub codes so of accounts. I want for, to clear all that with yeah. Rick because that's what his job is and say, you know, what's best practices. I got feedback from Aikens, yeah. which, which was great. It was kind of like a couple of months late, but um, I just want to make sure I'm doing everything proper from the accounting perspective mm -hmm. so that Aikens can follow us with um, when it comes to auditing yep. too. And so, but also it's, it's for data, for information for us so that we're able to track things. And when I get a, a question over, hey, you know, what are costs associated with this particular job? I'm able mm -hmm. to pull it up a lot either rather than hunting and pecking like we always yeah. do. Not so. to mention you, the purpose of having the two separate accounts, the one for right. the income, one for the expenses, you can very easily justify, like, are we short? Right. Have we over collected? Have we under collected, et cetera? Very easily rather than having to go through essentially property by property of like, we know we right. have this person pay right. this, we paid McCarthy Engineering right. this. It's, it's a right. lot less manually intensive right. to do but it that way. Even something as simple on it, it explains to you. So for each account that we have, so we have engineering costs. <laughs> so for, if we have engineering costs, it's just one general number. But there's engineering costs with what the township is doing versus what um, is we use as a pass-through for residents. I just want to attach a slightly different number to the ones that we use for residents. So I'm able to track that data. Along with that, everyone's address is on it. So I have two different means of, of, of mm -hmm. pulling it up, but I want to be able to have one separate for the township versus one separate, you know, as, as that pass through account. And so this way I want to get the best information from a person that does this for a living and make sure I'm doing this correctly from That's the county's nice. perspective. There was a lot of blunders, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that I experienced the first year. I had some familiarity with the program, but obviously I'm not an accountant and my, my QuickBook experience was very limited. This year I feel way more comfortable with the program and understanding what I can and can't do. But, and now I'm able to ask those questions over what can I do to make this easier so that we could retrieve the data much better for us. And, and it, it's wonderful. I can mm. do so much more than I did before and trying to make things much easier for, for all of us. So, and it keeps us financially healthy. Yep. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. You missed out on like the entire meeting. You're um, finished. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> speaking of like the, the audit and stuff like that, yeah. we did actually receive the engagement yeah, letter. Yep. Uh, so, it was late last week. So we'll... I forgot to put it on the agenda. So I'll have it on Thursday night. Sure. I think, sure. Um, we should make a motion. You should make a motion to have it signed. Absolutely. But I have it on Thursday night. Yeah. yeah. And I could say January 2nd, I'm ready to put everything on a on a disk, not disk, excuse Flash me. drive. Flash drive. Yeah. Sorry, antiquated brain here. As well as put everything in the box and I'm ready to go. Every, everything is done, sorted, kept up to date. And I think ahead of uh, February 8th, they're coming down to the office. I'm going to be able to give them the flash drive ahead of time. This way they could review the materials and hopefully that date can just be like, do you need me to pull this? Do you need me to pull that? And I'm hoping it's going to be smooth sailing this year. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're, we're in good shape for that. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. No, we were all putting riprap down in the Yep. Yeah. I'll, I'll talk to you after the meeting about that. I saw you guys took some riprap out this morning. Um, Jim, do you have any comments? No, no. Sue. No. Okay. In that case, I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Time is now 9.47 a.m. Wow. Second. Second. <laughs> Irene, second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Meeting adjourned.